It goes without saying that police officers are tough and ready to use their strength when necessary. This is part of their job. However, some officers abuse their power and commit horrific acts and are still getting away with it. Here in today's video, we're going to look at four cases where police brutality was caught on camera. Walter Scott On April 4, 2015, in North Charleston, South Carolina, Officer Michael Slager stopped 50-year-old Walter Scott because his brake light was broken. Slager asked Scott for his license, and while Slager was running a report, Scott opened the door to his car and ran away. He was shot to death a few moments later. A man named Fidine Santana witnessed and recorded everything. He was walking to work when he saw a fight between a white police officer and a black man. His video shows that Slager shoots Scott in the back while Scott runs away. This happened not once, not twice, but eight times. After Scott falls to the ground, Slager walks up to him and tells him to put his hands behind his back. Slager goes back to where the fight happened, picks up something, and puts it next to Scott's body before help arrives. Slager filed a report saying that Scott had tried to take his taser. Santana's video was posted on the front page of the New York Times and widely shown on national media. Not only does it look like Slager put something at the crime scene, the report also stated that officers gave first aid, but the video shows several officers after the shooting and none of them are giving aid. This shows that the police report of the event is full of mistakes. Fadeen Santana, who took the video, told the media that the police told him to stop filming and wait at the scene. Santana didn't, and he didn't know what to do with the video. Mr. Scott was being aggressive towards Officer Slater. Aggressive in a way of getting away of the of the cop, yeah. No, but not trying to punch the cop, hit the cop, you know, or nothing. No, he just trying to get away of the cop, which it was on top of him. He was afraid of the possible consequences and knew that his recording was important. He contacted someone he knew online, and that person put him in touch with Walter Scott's family. The footage wasn't shown on national news until Santana had a lawyer and a victim's family had a copy. Slager was charged with murder the day the video came out. North Charleston Mayor Keith Summey said, He will be charged with murder. When you're wrong, you're wrong. And if you make a bad decision, you have to live with it, whether you're behind the shield or just a citizen on the street. When you said wrong is wrong. Two months later, South Carolina's governor signed a bill that requires all law enforcement officers in the state to wear body cameras. Kiangi Mwaba Kianga Mwaba, 36, spent the night in a Baltimore jail, hoping that her video would show that she was innocent. In March 2014, Kianga Mwaba, whose father is a police officer, was driving home late at night in Baltimore when she saw police beating a handcuffed man. While standing still at a red light, she started to record the whole scene. Officers then told her to pull over so that she wouldn't be stuck in the middle of the road. She did that, and the situation quickly got worse. Officers yelled at her to get out of the car, forced her to the ground, and arrested her. Mwamba's phone was still recording, and the audio shows the chaos that followed. You said fuck me? Okay. Yes. All that is on you my phone. Dumb, you were dumb. What did you know I that? Do? What did I do? You just tried to run over an officer. When Mwamba got out of jail and got her things back, the video was gone. But luckily, her phone had automatically backed up the video of her arrest. It led to the charges against her being dropped, and she filed a lawsuit against the Baltimore police. The Baltimore police commissioner responded with a statement that the video does not capture enough information to draw definitive conclusions about what transpired before, during, or after the arrest. The city later paid Mwamba $60,000. Askia Sambur in September 2010, Askia Sabur and his cousin were standing on a corner outside a restaurant in Philadelphia when they were asked by police to move. When they told the officers that they were hungry, the situation got worse. Officers threw Sabur to the ground, and one of them hit him over and over with a steel baton, breaking his arm and wounding his head. A bystander took a video of the fight and posted it to YouTube, and then an officer points its gun wildly at the crowd and yells, Get the F off my corner. In a second video made by the same person, the cameraman talks about what he sees as police officers push him away from the scene. As the police come up to the person filming and push him back, 
The camera points down to show a police officer holding a steel baton. It was one guy. He did not have to beat that man like that. I can't understand what you're saying on the top of the helicopter. Yeah, you can hear me. He did not have to beat that man like that. Officers arrested a second person who was filming the scene on her phone, and they broke her camera. After the two videos came out, people from West Philadelphia and activists held protests to call for the officers to be charged. The video showed inconsistencies in the police testimony, which led to Sabur being cleared of all charges. In a civil rights case against the city, he won a settlement. Internal Affairs never found proof of any of them. Philip White March 31, 2015 Philip White was walking outside in Vineland, New Jersey, where he lived. Police officers came up to him after getting a call about a person causing trouble. It's not clear how the fight started, but when it was over, a 32-year-old man who wasn't armed was arrested, taken away in an ambulance, and declared dead when he got to the hospital. Several people saw what happened, and it was caught on video that made the local news in the days that followed. The videos were taken from about the same angle and show parts of the same event that happened at different times. Even though White's upper body is mostly hidden by the car and the officer's arm around his middle, White's legs are still when the officer calls a dog to attack White's face. Someone can be heard yelling. At the end of the second video, an officer walks up to the person filming and tells him that he needs to take his phone as evidence. Police say that White tried to get a gun from an officer. Several witnesses have told the media that an officer punched White and that White was out when the officer set a dog on him. A week after White's death, Vineland Police Chief Timothy Cotaspotti was quoted as saying, there is obviously going to be more that comes out. Uh, to anybody in this room, it's available to anybody in the country. You can get it off of uh, different uh, public servers. It was public information. At the time, toxicology reports were kept private out of respect for the family of the person who died. The medical examiner came to the conclusion that White's death was accidental and brought on by PCP intoxication. Once a man is handcuffed and unconscious, should have stuck him in the patrol car, take him to the police station. Now, nah, instead, they decide to beat him right here. They punched him, stomped him, kicked him, and then they let the dog out of the car and the dog bit him. Louis Platania and Richard Janasiak the two officers who arrested White were said to be on administrative duty while the investigation was going on. What do you think about these corrupt officers? Tell us in the comments below. Also, do subscribe to our channel. Please hit the like button if you liked the video and press the bell icon to get notifications when we upload more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.